Dutchman, yeah, the flowing Dutchman. I miss the paper man, I be the flowing Dutchman. Yeah, shuffle on the production. Like this, yeah. Boom, Friday flow. Now I'm here in the beautiful Kasserat Shala in Rishikesh and they have a lot of maces here, very cool training space, so I'm very excited to do a Friday flow here. This week we're going to talk about the front swing with the snake grip, so the snake front swing. Now to start this movement, what is important is that you're going to grab the mace about halfway with your thumb away from the globe, so that will be dagger grip. Now in this way you can just start to pendulum the mace around. So make sure that you have a stable anchor point and from the forearm you're gonna twist the mace. Now we're basically gonna enter, so access and get out of the snake grip. Now from here, the dagger grip, you're gonna tilt and the moment the mace comes up, you're gonna just lay it on your forearm like that. Okay, after that, we're gonna do the exact uh, reverse and get it out of the grip. So what you're gonna do is extend the arm, let the weight, the globe of the mace drop, and then from there, tilt it back to the center. Now make sure you have a stable anchor point, and you keep coming back to the center, and you're not overtly over uh, doing the movement. Now from here, we're gonna make the actual front swing. Now to do this front swing, what we're gonna do is start with the, um, the front side, and then we move to the back side. Okay, so from the front corridor, I'm first gonna enter the snake grip. Now from that snake grip, the momentum moves up. Okay, so it moves like that. It, it The handle wants to go up and down. Now you let it do, do so, but you make a circle so that in order to move from the front corridor to the back corridor, you're gonna open up your arm shoulder is now open and what you're going to do from here behind the body is tilt the mace and point it down as you point it down the momentum of the globe will go up and from there you can twist the mace again from the back corridor to the front corridor here we reverse the movement or we do the same movement again so enter curl around let go twist to the front and enter the snake grip again Okay, now you can also do that on the other side. And there, curl, twist, and make sure that you are either bending the arm or fully extending the arm. Okay, so bend and extend. In that way you can create that pendulum of the weight. Make sure that it is as smooth as it can get. Okay, this is the snake front swing. Now, if you're interested uh, to learn more about the maze, but you haven't, this is a little bit too difficult for you, I've made a program on Strong and Fit. It's a basic beginner course, six weeks, two workouts every week, and it will take you through all the basics to actually understand momentum and to get to a point where this movement will be very easy to handle because it remains a one-handed swing and those are always more difficult than the basic two-handed swing. That said, Greetings from Rishikesh, India, and I'll see you in the next Friday Flow. Thank you for your attention, it's greatly appreciated. If you like the content, please consider to share, like and subscribe to my channel. If you want to see similar videos, you can see them over here. If you're interested in learning more from me as a coach, I've got online courses on dodgeflowacademy.com. Keep flowing, Ram Ram.